Alexia Gia, a uh, freshman forward on the Quinnipiac women's ice hockey team from St. Thomas, Ontario. Alexia, thank you so much for, uh, for joining us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so uh, what have these last couple of months been like for you, not only starting school, but a new chapter in your hockey career? Um, it's definitely been an adjustment. Being 10 and a half drive away from home is pretty far and just a lot more schoolwork and definitely the hockey's a step up, but I think it's done an okay job of adjusting and I love it here. What was that one thing that really sold you on the school and the program? Um, honestly, I can't really pinpoint one thing. I think it was everything combined. For me, it excelled in hockey um, and school, so kind of the best of both worlds. Well, you've got Coach Turner here. Uh, how have you already started to see yourself grow as a player under Coach Turner? Um, there's tons of opportunities hockey-wise here. and We do video and team meetings, and for myself, I've had a ton of individual videos, so just being able to see myself in game situations and see where I can improve, and also feedback on that and during videos helped a lot. Now you were a part of that Canadian uh, national U18 team a uh, summer ago uh, with three of your teammates who are now also here yes. at QU. How important has it been to have uh, Zoe, Courtney and Logan with you here? Definitely a great support system and obviously knowing them before I came here it's kind of nice it's like knowing people from home um, made it a little more comfortable coming in and we've already started to bond before we came here and then now having the next four years with them is gonna be awesome. Let's talk about some of your play on the ice this year. Are there words that can pos uh, properly uh, describe uh, the feeling of scoring your first goal against Maine? Honestly, I, there's not really words. I think it's just something I've like dreamed of and worked for since I committed here in my second year of high school. Um, but when I scored, I turned to Sarah and I was like, was that me? Did I just score? She's like, yeah, Alexa, I'm pretty sure that was you. Um, but yeah, just a great feeling to get that kind of monkey off my back. Who was the first person you called after the game? Um, my parents. Yeah, well, they're actually, my parents came to the first weekend. They couldn't make it down um, for the second. But so, yeah, I called them right after. And they were like, yeah, we saw it online. Good job. But What have they meant to you just in terms of your hockey development throughout your life? Yeah, so I'd say them as well as my brother has been a huge part in my hockey career, just providing me with different camps and tools um, to get better. They're my number one fans, and having their support means a ton. Now let's talk about this team. Obviously, an 0-4 start wasn't ideal, but you guys went up against some very tough teams. How important was it for the team to play uh, some very difficult schools? Yeah, I think we've known since the start we have a great group, a really talented group, and I haven't experienced what I've experienced here in terms of team culture and character and how together our team, our team is. So I know we had a little bit of a rough start, but we knew it was about time that we'd get some wins under our belt, and I think it's a huge step forward, especially to have those two wins in ECAC in conference. So it's a big step forward, and we'll just keep building. Yeah, what was the, the main message from Coach Turner going into these uh, ECAC matches? Matchups. Just that they believe in us and we need to believe in ourselves and I think that's what it really came down to is believing we could do it and you could see it was kind of like a switch that just turned on in the Brown game and in the Yale game I'd say that was our number one game we played three strong periods so it was kind of a flip of a switch and we all believed in each other and I think that's huge leading to the rest of the season. You talk about believing in yourself how far does this team believe it can go? I think to the end I know we're hosting the Frozen Four this year so to play in that on home soil would be huge. So I think we all have the same goal in mind, so we're gonna work to get there. Well, Lexi, we really appreciate the time and uh, best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you.